Hi, I'm Brandon Thomas with your Bayou Sports Report. And after 440 days, Colonel football is back. Tonight, the Colonels take on Lincoln University of Missouri. Tell me up, man. Let's go. We've been waiting on this. Let's go. Coach, just talk about being able to see some people that you've had in the program, you know, these past couple of COVID months, being able to see them produce on the field. Yeah, we played We played a lot of guys. You know, when you start out uh, with Lindsey and Cohen, what those guys did, and we got a lot of weapons on the outside. It was good to see Julian running again, uh, Dejan catching balls. You, you saw Tevin uh, doing a bunch of good things, KJ Franklin, Dantes Costley, some guys. Uh, we got some weapons that we can do it. And, and I was proud of our guys up front. We were limited with some guys up front, but I was uh, proud of what the offensive guys did. Coach, just talk about being able to just show the community what you've been working on the past 14 months. Yeah, you know, I was proud of the, the fans that showed up tonight. We it's, it's been a tough couple weeks around here, as everybody knows, and on top of the COVID and stuff. But it was good to see them. Uh, I, I wanted them to show that we got a good football team those, that they could be proud of, that these guys have been working, doing the right things uh, off the football field also to get us to this point. Whether it was at Zachary or at EMCC, just talk about being in a championship program and coming with championship pedigree. Yeah, I mean, I, coming from coaches that you know have won a lot of championships, um, there's a lot of things that instill in you. Um, going through adversity, uh, hard working, taking care of the small details, that's something that Coach Broden used to always harp on and something that I take with me every place I've been. Um, so it's I'm, I'm in another place where, you know, um, winning championships is starting to become a, a thing for us and we want to strive for those goals. So um, it's something we take to the field also. So Taking over the ring as quarterback, somebody that's been in the system while wow, and chase four k mm -hmm. now you have him on the sidelines speaking to you and different things mm -hmm. like that. Just talk about being able to have that um, kind of edge in the system, yeah. you know, going forward. It's nice having a guy that was a, you know, a four year veteran who knows the system front and back and somebody you can come off the off the field and kind of confide in, you know, see the same things that, that he saw when he was playing, and he can really kind of guide me in the right direction. So he's going to be a great tool, uh, and I look forward to having him as my coach. You were just like a firecracker, man. Just talk about being able to go out there, jump around, and have fun against and hit people. I've been ecstatic since last night. I don't know how many hours of sleep I have got, but uh, it's been nerve-wracking. Uh, just preparing, getting in the game, like, it's been 440 days since we've been playing football. I can't tell you how the league, nobody ever did that. And us being the first, we had to come out with all the injury we had. Seeing a lot of people lead this defense, just talk about you stepping in that role and continuing their legacy. Ooh, uh, I have a big shoe to fill, but it's going to be real. The journey for me taking over is going to be really exciting. I'm excited for it.